All right, we'll get back to it. Now let's hop in to game number one of our semifinals. Spawning on the lower left-hand corner of Eternal Empire, our red Protoss player for Team Liquid. It is Mana. And his opponent in the upper right for Mouse Sports, the blue Darren Blair, Hero Marine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who was that? Who did it? Who did it? I didn't drop any frames. My upload's good. My upload's good. We cruising, baby. All right. Looks like we're okay. But hopefully the lag does not persist. Now, Big Gabe, of course, is our favorite to win the tournament every single week. Except maybe if Rainer's playing. But although even then, I think we've seen a couple times where Rainer versus Clem happened. Clem won, and then Hero Marine beat Clem. And it's not out of the realm of possibility of Hero Marine to beat Rainer, too. So, like, even then, Hero Marine's still a favorite, you know? Yeah, you can change your name color so that it's always the same. Or you could not. And then you could have a different name color every time you come into chat. Every instance of chat has a different name color for people who don't have it set. <laughs> Lynn, do I have to make you a VIP so you don't have mod powers? <laughs> Fucking clearing chat over here. God damn it. Oh boy. All right. Well, double Reaper here out of here, Moraine, to start things off. And he's got a Hellion. Looks like he might get a little bit aggressive with these units. Mana's got one Adept. He's going to send some Shades in. Oh, he's going to let that Shade finish here, Marine. Maybe baiting him a little bit. The SCV will die, though. So at least Mana's getting something. That looks like a Mind Drop might be the next thing here. There's no wall. So, you know, there's no real block in this. A couple of adepts and a shield battery should be enough. Here, Marine's still gonna. Nope, 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 nope. Not short, not short. Ah, uh, the Oracle. Ooh, turns itself on. Should be able to get one of these guys. Nice micro. Gets the second one. Easy peasy. Hellion gets taken out by the adepts. And suddenly, Mana is feeling pretty good. Robo going down for mana. Um, there is a single mine here in defense against the Oracle. Oracle does have enough energy to turn on. It will take advantage of that. Ah, mana not watching though. Loses that Oracle. In the meantime, a couple mines getting dropped in the natural. Oh, ho, ho, that armory not being done. Actually, messing up here, Marine, a little bit. Oh, that last shot. The last shot of the Adept didn't connect. This Widowmine with two hit points staying alive. Now, the question is, did Mana realize that that's staying alive? I don't know, man. He can't quite hit from here. I think Mana knows. I think he knows. I think he realizes he didn't kill it. And he could fly over it and tank it. Oh, he's going to use the Observer. Nicely done. That was a, a clutch moment for that mine, but it didn't get anything else done because of that. This one's going to try to run in. It will not be successful. 
Oh shit, but there's a mine drop in the main base now. 10 more probes going down. Now here Marine is still down in workers. It's 33 to 38, so it's not like he's in a fantastic spot. Both players have third bases about halfway done. Another mine drop, yet another mine drop coming in. Oh, and Mana not paying attention. Seven more probes. He just now cleared up the main base. Now he's got to come clear the natural with this Observer and the Adepts. Constantly on the defense. And finally, Air Marine has even up that worker count after killing 20 probes. 20 probes has been killed. Oh my god. Those are not good trades for Mana. He does have a couple Phoenixes trying to get some damage done. Slowing down that Engineering Bay. He's getting two cheeky kills. Keeping that worker count even. But this is not a good start for Mana. He's got Double Forge and actually the Robo Bay coming up now. So he's going to be teching up while trying to keep Hero Marine on this side of the map with the Phoenixes. Oh! Don't want to lose any Phoenixes though. Hero Marine just going to take a third base. Oh, a few depths in the main. That's really nice. Shade away. I'm going to try to shade out of there. Looks like one might get caught. No, not even that. All right. This is really nice counter damage from Mana. Here, Marine got some really good damage done. But after that, Mana is now up 51 to 39 probes. His third base is starting to mine. He's chronoing out those probes. A little bit supply block, but it happens to the best of us. He's going to pile on up. Yep. There it is. There's the three pylons being made. We all know the feel of th these pylons. Your micro in, your macro in, and all of a sudden we require additional pylons. And you're like, fuck me, I just chrono boosted. <laughs> pylon, 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 go. And it looks like just four phoenixes for now. Mana. Keeping that option open for later. I'm going into Colossi. For Hero Marine, Bio Tank. I don't know how many tanks he's going to produce, but he's already got two. Third one coming out right now. Stim Combat Shields on the way, as well as just plus one. Not going for the double upgrades, which means he is going to fall behind very quickly. As Mana is going to have 1 1 very soon. And if he starts to two up immediately, Hero Marine's going to have a really tough time ever catching up on upgrades. And, and that's going to be a problem as the game moves on. Some things I just I want to be said without the delay, so I have to chat them. Just mid mid game here. All right, things warming up. Looks like here Marine might be planning a bit of a move out here. Supplies are relatively even. I was gonna say, where is his army? There's a bunch of marines in this mineral line. That's why this army looks a little small. I'm like, he's got 86 army supply. Where the hell is it? There's just like a whole bunch over here. He's got some out at this uh, this watchtower, a little bit back in his main as well. Hey, marine, a bit spread out. Mana going for the double expand here. I love it. Here, marine scans one but doesn't see the other one. So he's gonna be thinking, all right, you got a fourth base. You're going robo units. Here Marine is not going for a fourth base. There is no fourth CC on this map. He just F2'd everything and it's coming across. All right, big double drop here for Hero Marine. Mana has really good vision though. 
All right. Disruptor's trying to buy some time. Colossi here as well. A nice tag on these units, so Mana knows exactly where here Marine is. He's going to go re-tag. Man, that tag has so much range. Phoenixes are back here. This double drop is doomed. Fated to be doomed. But I think this attack is going to go very well for here Marine. A couple of interference matrices go down. Somehow this disruptor lives. The drop actually gets off. How the hell did that happen? The Phoenixes did not focus either of those down. A couple disruptors pop out, get some decent connections. Um, but a lot of probes dying here. A lot of probes dying right now. 13 going down. This will eventually get cleaned up. If we take a look at the upgrades, 2-2 is finished for Mana. It looks like Hair Marine went for plus 2 attack. He doesn't have any armor upgrades, but he also has plus 1 attack on the siege tanks. And there's a lot of siege tanks here, so that is a very important upgrade. Archon's trying to be more. A couple of force fields go down to buy Mana some time, but Hair Marine with this push, he's already taken out one base. He's going to send a few Marines over here to take out another. Just kill your own probes, why don't you? That disruptor, friendly fire in... And I don't think there's enough for Mana to hold this. Here, Marine's push just getting too much done. Ah, oh, Zealot counterattack doing nothing because this bunker is baller. Phoenix is in the sky, winning the air battle, winning the ground battle. Oh my god, and GG gets called. Here, Marine takes game number one with that powerful three base push. GG. All right, we're getting into game number two now. I think the other semis might be starting very soon here. I believe. Because I see um, Zombie Grub and Wardy chilling in the chat channel here. So the other one should be starting soon. I'm trying to check the bracket. Uh, looks like Neeb took the 2-1. Gerald started off strong, but Neeb pulling it back. So Neeb versus Denver. Ooh, I hope we have a Neeb finals. Not that I don't love Denver. Denver took out Max Packs 2-0 after Max Packs took out Lambo 2-0. So that's good for Denver. That means his ZVP must be looking pretty strong. Eche Fatum has two saved up. Oh shit, dude. All the monologue action. Give me something good, boys. I know you got it. All right, let's, uh, let's see. This is best of five. Get the scores right. We're going to Death Aura for game number two here. Spawning in the upper left-hand corner. Representing Team Liquid. It is Mana. His opponent in the lower right for Mouse Sports. It's Hero Marine. Big Gabe, looking good this series so far. I gotta say, Mana pulled pulled it back a little more than I was expecting him to with that worker damage in, in game one. Here, Marine pulling really far ahead with 20 probe kills, but counter damage uh, was real good for Mana. I liked it a lot. Hey, just FYI, guys, I have highlighted all of the current monologues, and they are in a separate videos um, section. What I don't know what you call it, like a collection? They should be should have their own collection in my videos. So if you missed any of the monologues, Borsti, if you missed uh, the Nietzsche one, Eche Fatum, if you missed the Patrick Rothfuss one, they're all in there. They're all separate, just the monologues. So if you miss one, don't worry. I'll put it in there. You can check it out. All 
Now, Mana's got a cheeky pylon over here. It looks like this is going to be a proxy Stargate. This isn't a Void Ray proxy Stargate. I mean, he could, but usually you do that where you can put uh, shield batteries down. I guess, you know, I say that. I guess he could do a Void Ray, do the Stargate over here, and then drop down a new pylon and shield batteries over here once a Void Ray or two are out. But, yeah, it doesn't look like the plan. This is just going to be an Oracle couple oracles out of this guy here marine looking like a very standard opening that he wants to go for mind drop oh wait hold on no i lied never mind big that was a big lie i just told there's no base <laughs> this is looks very standard here until you look at the time and realize that there's no natural command center this is a one 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 out of here marine and man you do not see these often yeah, okay, so there's an armory coming up. So Hero Marine's trying to get super quick invisible mines. There's an Oracle being chrono boosted out now for Mana. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued in how this is going to work. There's a couple ways it can happen. The Oracle could come in, get blown up by a Widow Mine. That'd be terrible for Mana. Or... The medevac could pick up these mines, boost out, the oracle comes in, has nothing that can shoot up, and then gets a bunch of damage, which is exactly what's going to happen. There's nothing that shoots up. There are a couple marines out. Looks like four marines on the low ground. Oracles don't kill SCVs as quickly as they kill other units. It takes three ticks for them to get an SCV. He still gets four, which is really nice considering there is no natural base Hero Marine has no money. Oh my god. He's building a Thor. Alright, let's see if this mine drop does some good work. The mines were real good last game. One goes off. Second one getting burrowed. There's a Robo on the way, but there is zero detection right now. So Mana is going to have to time shit out. He needs to know the timing to pull his probes again. Hero Marine's going to try to get out of there with the, uh, the medevac, it seems. Mana, are you ready? Did you time it out well? Oh, no. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, just barely too late, and 13 probes have gone down. Oh, there's a tag on one Widow Mine. Oh, it gets an Oracle, though. Oh, oh I thought it was going to get those probes. Just gets the one. Here's a follow-up for Hero Marine. Where did the Thor go? Where's the Thor? Oh my god, it's in a meta bag. There's a Thor drop follow-up. Hero Marine, you goddamn son of a bitch. And Thor is in the wrong mode to be good against the Oracle. The Oracle would be dead if this Thor was in high impact payload mode. Some SCV is here for the repair. Thor is getting repaired. Super shield battery goes off. That's going to buy some time. Is it going to buy enough time? Medivac is gone. That means the Thor is here for good. There's no recall. Viking's going to go for the land. All right, Immortal. Focus down that Thor. No more shield battery. A nice pickup on top of that Cyclone. This Phoenix putting in its value. The repair. The repair. That's yeah, not good enough. All the SCVs go down and the Thor will fall. And at the end of the day, Mana holds with 24 probes. Which is not great, but there is no natural base for Hero Marine. And there is not one planned. His follow-up? Another Thor. Thor is ready. Gets me back into the fight. You think it's the same Thor? All the pieces that exploded over here got brought back to the factory. They're being rebuilt, reassembled right now, repaired, so the Thor can come out once again. A lot of these units across the map dying for Hero Marine, though. Oh, he's going to tap out before the next Thor. GG, Mana holds the cheekiest build I think I've ever seen Hero Marine do. The only thing that could make that cheekier is if it was on the other side of the map. But GG's, man. What a game. Making a Thor. <laughs> mm.
monolection. Oh damn, back to back monologues or a monologue in the chicken mask. If, okay. How about this? If you redeem a chicken mask and ask for a specific monologue, I will do the monologue in the chicken mask. Or if you request a monologue that goes really well with the chicken mask, um, like if you have a reason, then I'll do that also in the chicken mask. So you can kind of do either or. I If you want me to say some like random ass shit, but in the chicken mask, uh, you're going to need to request a chicken man for that one. However, if you have a good, like, chicken-related one, or maybe, like, a superhero one, you know, like a, like a Batman one, maybe, um, or, or something like that, if you have a good reason for why the chicken mask would be appropriate, then you could redeem that monologue, and in that request, be like, yo, I want you to do this in the chicken mask. So... I, I would do that for you guys. You don't. You wouldn't need to spend 30k points to get me to do a monologue in the chicken mask. That's that's too much. That's too much. All right. Let's get into game number three here. We haven't seen this map yet today, and it is probably my favorite map in the pool, at least to cast, if not to play. Spawning on the right hand side of Golden Wall, it is our red Protoss player, Team Liquids, Mana. And his opponent on the left, in the blue, the largest of Gabe's, Mouse Sports Hero Marine. Oh, and speaking of proxies, proxying a single barracks. Now, this map is not great for Reapers. Uh, there's only one way to jump into the main, it's here. I don't think you can jump in here. I'm pretty sure it's just here. You can't jump into the... Well, you can. Okay, you can jump into the natural here. But again, it's it's right next to the ramp. So it doesn't really benefit all that much. Uh, there's no jumping in the back of the main or anything like that. So Reaper's not that great on this map. Mana's going to spot this barracks coming up at home very late. He may assume that there's a barracks around. It looks like he's scouting for it. And it is going to be a Reaper. Are we going to see double Reaper production here out of here, Marine? Maybe he's doing it because it would be surprising. Well, Mana is not taking a Nexus. He's dropping a pylon by these gold minerals. This is a place that's really not likely to be scouted down here. Um, You don't usually, you know, if you're going to the opponent's base, you go straight across here. You won't see any of this. Ah, and he's going to go for the Stargate. All right, we got the fact. Remember when I said the only thing that would be cheekier is if it was all proxied? That's nice, Sail Pup. That's nice. The GG's in Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Thor... Thor Schoenegger. That's that's tough to say. All right, what's the follow-up here? So here, Marine's got reactor going down in the barracks. His factory's up here. He's got a barracks at home building a marine. Stargate's making a void race. Oh man, this is a game. This is a game. I love it. Starport going down over here. Ah. Uh, so here Marines scouted these minerals are intact. I don't know how long ago, but it looks like it was pretty recent. He scouted there's no Nexus here. He has to know something's up. But again, look at this scouting line. You just don't see this with that. Siege tank. So this is really all in here for Hero Marine. I don't know though. This Void Ray is hitting on the other side of the map already. Hero Marine's got a while before he's going to be hitting with his push. Uh, Mon is continuing the shield battery rush with this Void Ray. There's just nothing that shoots up here. There's a Cyclone on the way out on the upper fucking right-hand corner of the map. I don't think that's going to help this, these SCVs. Oh, 
Uh, the SUVs are all leaving. This is it, Hero Marine. This is as all in as it is possible to be. Depth gonna go down very quickly. Doesn't get any kills. Tank is gonna be able to siege up. Ooh, Reaper gets killed. Tank goes for the non-siege. I actually, you know what? I like that with the pro pool. Ooh, focuses down the stalker. It's just probes now. Nice pickups here. There is the recall on the double void ray for mana. There is a cycle in here and a decent chunk of marines. Ooh, ooh, okay, lock on gets broken here. There is a shield battery back here, but not enough energy on the Nexus for an overcharge. Shield battery is now completely out of energy. Oh my god, but a third void ray. Oh, it's too much. It's too much. The Marines focus down one void. Lock on on the other one. Oh, and that one's going to go down. Oh my god. Has here Marine actually done it? Where are the SCVs? No, they're not over here. Did they all come with this? Maybe they mostly died. There's a few out on the map. 14 probes have died. It's actually seven SCVs to nine probes. It's all about the unit interaction now. Oh my god, the shield battery down here. That is huge. This Cyclone has so much versatility right now. It's so important. Doesn't kill it with the lock on. Oh my god, another Void Ray. Ooh, Cyclone versus Void Ray. Cyclone's running out of room. It's running out of room. And down it goes. And that, I think, is just GG. Uh, rip that probe. I, I I just I think there's zero way Hero Marine can win this now, right? Like it's seven SCVs to six probes and he has mules, but the army is just too much. Oh my god, he's slow warping in a zealot. He's slow warping in a zealot. Oh my god. Oh mana. I love him. I love him with this cheeky pylon. Hero Marine, what are you doing? He's gonna float his buildings to the corner. <laughs> GG gets called. Mana takes the victory in one hell of a game, man. A hell of a game. I love it. And Mana goes up 2 1 over the largest of games. The largest of Manas. Hey, what's up, Flair? Trying to find some Sherlock monologues. Hmm. Yeah, it is tough to find some stuff, for sure. A lot of quotes that are like six to seven lines. Maybe I should do a a short form and a long form redemption to like 3,000 or 4,000 <laughs> um, like yeah maybe like 4,000 or 3,000 or something points to redeem like a short form monologue that way there's a good way for somebody like like Eche Fatum's one he submitted was really long and it was killer. And I like that a lot. But maybe I shouldn't charge the same for that as I do for like if somebody wanted just a just a little short one. I could do that. I'll I'll add one. i I like that idea a lot, actually. Um that way you guys aren't spending crazy points. Cause ten thousand nuggets is a lot of nuggets, but if it's a big one, I just have to find an amount of lines. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, uh, we are getting into the next game. It is... Nope. There we go. Let's get the scores right. Get settled. We're on ice and chrome and spawning. In the lower left-hand corner, representing Team Liquid. It is Mana. And his opponent in the upper right for Mouse Sports. It's Hero Marine. Uh, 
All right. No proxies from here, Marine, this time. We'll see what this probe is doing for mana. You guys know how to tongue pop? All the pros know how to tongue pop. I'm not great at it, though. I'm still working. One day I'll get there. Will there be chicken live later? Sadly, Flare, there will not. Mondays, I don't... I don't usually follow up the ESL stream with a with a live stream. Because um, this will end at, like, probably 3, maybe 3.30. Depending on how long this series and the finals goes. Sometimes, like, 2.30. But usually, yeah, like, 2.30 to 3.30 my time. And, I don't know, turning the stream off, turning it back on to play for, like, an hour doesn't quite feel worth it to me. Um, so Mondays are usually slightly shorter than other days. Largest of Neebs, dude. Largest of Thunder Shafts. Now Mana with a nice little scout finds this bunker. Bunker is, gets cancelled. I heard it. I heard it happen. NSV gets pushed away. Reaper gonna jump up into the base. Oh, gets a probe kill. Not often you see a probe kill there, but nice work here, Marine. And he is building an, a base this time, so there's a second CC in this game. We had two in a row. With no second CC. I read one of the Sherlock Holmes books when I was a kid. Like, an actual Sir Arthur Conan Doyle one. I don't remember which one, though. I actually don't remember anything about it. Just that I read it. Alright, we've got the Oracle being chrono boosted for mana. See if he can get some good damage with it. So far, Mana's harassment has actually been pretty good. Um, here, Marine is going for a Cyclone, so no Mind Drop this time, no cheeky Armory. Looks like we might have ourselves a standard game here in game number four. Hero Marine made it weird a couple times and didn't really work for him. I feel like Standard's definitely going to play to Hero Marine's strengths more than Mana's. Mana, I think, thrives in those kind of weird situations. Like, that is where I favor Mana more than anybody else, pretty much. Uh, except, like, maybe SOS, you know? Like, as far as Protoss goes, though, when the, when the games get real weird, I feel like Mana is just top tier at that. He will make you regret every decision you make. <laughs> uh, this Oracle, though, not finding any damage. And I think it might just die. Gets locked on once again, and that's just going to be too much. He goes for the scan, even. Even though he has a Viking, there's a lot of dead airspace down here. I don't, I don't think I really realized just how much dead airspace there is here. I am all the way zoomed out, and there's a lot. Anyways. A Twilight Council and a Double Forge coming up from on and out. So maybe he'll go into that really heavy gateway army composition. He's got a couple of Phoenixes. He's going to delay this barracks being built. I don't know if he spotted that move out, though, but he needs something. Uh, he needs something, dude. He's got an Immortal. But it's not, it's not, I don't know, man. This feels like not a lot for mana. Army supplies are telling a story, 38 to 19. There's not even a shield battery in sight, dude. Uh, I think here Marine might just win with this push. Yeah, GG. Just a big push out of here Marine that mana was not expecting. And uh, that's, that's it for game four. A bit anticlimactic there, but... That's sometimes the build orders line up like that. 
Mana was just very, very not ready for that. We all brought swords to Eche Fatum's gunfight. Wait. Eche Fatum has a gun? Itchy's got a gun. Itchy's got a gun. The whole world's come undone. Somebody is on the run. What did her daddy do? What did he put you through? All right, game five. Game five. Tongue pop. So I figured out how to tongue pop, but I can't do it consistently. And I like, I, I curl my tongue in my mouth, put a lot of pressure on the roof of my mouth. And then when I open it, the tongue kind of slaps down that's the only way i figured out how to make like a good tongue pop noise but it's oh, very man, chicken man wow oh man dubstep dubby wubby dubby wubby resubscribing for eight months man thank you thank you for that resub my hero we still we still gotta go get waffles i don't know if there's any waffles um any waffle place is open right now, but you know it. We gotta get some some chicken and waffles, so you can put some chicken with chicken waffles with ranch. Best combination of food that you and I could eat together, right there. Is there anything more chicken man and dubstep than that? Anyways, we got a game five to get into. Can I see, it's not consistent. That's the one. And we're going to Pillars of Gold for game five. Spawning in the upper right hand corner. Representing Team Liquid. It's our red Protoss. Mana. And his opponent in the lower left. Representing Mouse Sports. It's our blue Terran. Hero Marine. Neither player proxying anything yet. As I say that, this probe says, no, no, no. I am proxying something. Uh, 11 bits. Got some chicken noises. Bok, bok, indeed. Thank you for those 11 bits, Lin. Appreciate it. Oh, ooh, this probe's real low. Oh, that's a dead probe. Oh, my God. How did he get... Oh! He didn't get out of there, dude. Rest in pepperonis, annoying first probe. Mana, down a probe, disheartened. Turn a boost into depth, oh my god, and the Stargate and Shield Battery gets found immediately here. That's rough, that's rough. This is really, really good right now for Hero Marine who was expecting this on this map. He's pulling SCVs. I think Mana needs to cancel and like build a Nexus. Yeah, he's gonna try to get into this, but with the SCVs coming off the line, he's going for the pylon. There's too much DPS here. Stargate will finish. Oh, cancels it. Cancels the Stargate. All right, yeah, okay, good call from Mana. Good call from Mana, not committing to this. This is a lot of lost mining time for SCVs. Bunker's not up yet, but... Oh, Mana's got a proxy, another pylon. He says, fine, you, you stop my cheekiness. I'll go from cheekiness to cheekiness then. Gets one Marine, and we'll get out of there. Double Adept will continue to be annoying, though. A 
Reaper on the other side of the map. Oh, there's nothing here, actually. Two probes going down. Damn. Three? This fucking Reaper over here with four kills. What a badass. Twilight Council on the other side of the map. Oh, guys, you know what I just realized? We haven't heard our uh, co-caster day because it's Labor Day. So they're not mowing the lawn. Wow. And there's the Dark Shrine. There is the Dark Shrine. Full cheekiness. Reaper trying desperately to get another kill. It's gotten four so far. I don't think it's gonna do it though. Oh my God, it gets the fifth kill. That was a Corporal Reaper. Let it be known that that Reaper died not only a Corporal, but a hero. I think Gabe should change his name to Hero Reaper. <laughs> All right. Gateway coming up over here as well. I'd love to see Gabe build a Raven, but I don't think he's really thinking about DTs. He had a full scout of the base. I will say... Maybe he saw that there isn't much here. Maybe he did see that. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Somebody's car alarm is going off outside. They need to shut that shit off. Mana's moving across the map. He's got his first DTs warping in. Check the scan energy. Zero scan energy. No Raven. There's no detection here for here, Marine. Okay, he just now is dropping two missile turrets. Oh, he's, does he spot that DT? He doesn't spot the DT. It gets in all the way. Oh, my God. Oh, he's clicked right on the turret as well. <gasps> and a mule just... Oh, no, it was a scan. So the DT out front here got scanned. Oh, the missile turret finished, and it looks like it got mass repaired. So this DT gets pushed away. Only three SCVs going down. A couple Marines going to be swibbity swiped here as well. And then the recall on the Dark Templar. Love it. All right, I think Mana getting some good damage there. Still got some DTs out and about, too. I'm surprised he's not taking a third base, but I guess he thinks there's an attack coming, and... Well, I, I would also think there's an attack coming. Because there is. No? Okay, so here Marine gonna pick up. Go for the drop in the main. Mono will take that third base. I like the Phoenixes over here for Mana, though. Good defense against the drop. Defense against the drop arts. <laughs> uh, he might pull them back here to help defend against this push. I don't think he has any vision of this push. Yeah, no vision over on this side of the map. Well, Phoenixes move away at a perfect time for here, Marine, to get in. It's just eight Marines. Stim is about to finish, as is plus one, so they're going to be strong. Strong Marines. Oh, that Viking finds that. Blood Razor, pretty good, dude. And these Marines find that probes are a pretty easy to kill. I love the DT on defense here. One pylon gets taken out. In the meantime, here Marine pushing on this third base, which gets canceled. It's a good victory for here Marine. However, he doesn't have his own third CC, so it's not like he's expanding back at home while delaying Mana. But Mana is down 40 army supply right now, and... GG gets called as the drop doing damage, the third base, and Mana taps out. Hero Marine takes the 3 2 victory. That game did feel a little anticlimactic as well. Felt like maybe Mana just didn't get enough damage done with the DTs. Didn't have enough to stop that push. If he's able to hold that third, I think he's in a good spot, but that's a big if. And it wasn't the case. GG.